I were you, here's what I would do. If I wanted to be competitive, and I told Mr. Ruiz this because he had asked me, you know, what, what maybe he should expect of the whole thing. And, I, you know, I, I wouldn't want to discourage you guys from thinking you could win, or I think that's a great thing, and I certainly think you could, but you have to be very smart about how you did it. Um, and I'll tell you, when you go to the competition, you're going to be really impressed by the robots. Like, some of them, you're like, these things could cook breakfast for you on top of, you know, whatever. They're, they're like, almost like, you know, these Boston Dynamic video things you see? I mean, they're like really, some of them are really well engineered, you know? Um, and that's not to discourage you again. It's going to, you know, you're going you're gonna to be impressed by it. And you're going to learn from it. It's cool. Um, some of these people are very religious about this thing. Like, I, and I told them, this to release the same thing. I was like, one of the things that turns me off in this competition, it's like, to me, it's like a little cult, but that's just me, all right? <laughs> just, don't get too, just don't get too into it, because some people really, like, it's their whole life. Um, but uh, here's what I would do if I were you guys, just, just as a recommendation. One is, you know, our advantage is we have a really big team. You know, a lot of the teams, they don't have as many students as we do. They may have more engineers, but they, 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 they will, will be one of the biggest teams there, okay? So think about that as far as like one of your assets. I would take an inventory of like, you know, what weaknesses we have and what strengths we have. One strength is that you have a lot of people. So there's things that you could focus on that other teams couldn't focus on, you know? One of the things we were always weak on, which is totally ridiculous considering there's no reason for this, is like a lot of times we didn't even know the rules well. And I know that goes with Best and F FTC and all that stuff. Like, could certainly know the rules of the game in and out with all the people we have on hand, right? Another thing is um, there's ways to play the game. Now this game is interesting because you got three robots per alliance, right? And we had, we almost made it to the, we almost won one year. We were almost on the winning alliance one year because one of the best teams in the world is called Robo Wranglers. They had picked us to, to be on their team because our robot fit into a certain dimension they needed it to fit on because they would push us up a ramp and it was like mega bonus points if our robot were to balance on this ramp and it did but one time and this was just we told the students not to, to just let them do the thing and leave the robot alone because then we would have won but they chose to try to drive the robot and they drove it off the ramp and so even that was just not smart, you know? I mean, they could have just left the thing alone. The Robo Wranglers would have pushed us on the ramp as, you know, as humbling uh, a way to victory. <laughs> <laughs> we still would have won, you know? And they messed it up by insisting that they drive the thing, and so they wound up driving it off the ramp. Uh, and whatever. Um, point is, is that there's other ways to compete in this than just having the robot that does everything well, because you're going to see robots there that do everything well. And a lot of them w would probably drive autonomously better than the human control. Like, they, it, they could score as many, if not more, points in the autonomous period as they could in the regular one. It was as if the robots could nearly drive themselves, you know. They were highly automated, you know. Um, so my point is, is look at the way the game's played. You might be able to find a niche that, you know, like, you make a robot that does a specific thing really well, doesn't try to do everything well, you know, and with the idea that an alliance is going to pick you because you do this specific thing and it's necessary for scoring a lot of points in the game. You know what I'm saying? And most of the games are set up that way. Like the end game, like if the robot's in this position, it's like a lot more points. Um, and some of the robots that can do all this stuff well, they may not fit that niche well. You know what I'm saying?